Anthony Patterson with the Atlanta Voice. Tank, I noticed even at the Georgia State game, but other games, a lot of people from where you're from or the 706 area um, really bonded, even though maybe you guys won or whatsoever. What is so special about the 706 and the bond you have with guys who maybe you play with or you're playing against? Well, um, when I, my, family, my mother got married, you know, we moved to LaGrange, built relationships with teammates and friends, and a couple of those guys came to Auburn with me. And uh, it's, it's great, you know, to have experience with them in high school and college, and it just, it's different. We'll go on the aisle here, third row. Tank, Brian said this morning that he thinks you might be the most improved player on the entire team in terms of what you've done in the offseason. You're a guy that already rushed for 1,000 yards last year. So in your mind, what does an improved season look like for you? Well, just doing the little things and making sure I do everything right as, like I can and um, always just care of myself in the manner that I need to be and doing the right thing for my team and being a team player first. And, um, and that's what I've been doing this summer, coming to work and uh, being a team player first. On the right, second row. Tyler Shaw with uh, KBTX and College Station. I wanted to ask about transfer quarterback Zach Calzada. I don't know how much you've been able to work out or, or practice with him, but just what have you seen uh, from Zach and what he brings? Uh, Zach, he brings leadership. Um, he speaks up. He, he, bring, he brings a lot of things. You know, he, he's a talented guy. And, um, he's smart, you know what I'm saying? And he has what it takes to be a great quarterback, you know what I mean? And, um, we should see how, how that goes and uh, hopefully it go good. Left side, back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7. Uh, Tank, a, a lot of your teammates made the decision to, uh, to, to move on from Auburn uh, last year, either to the NFL draft or, or going to the transfer portal. Sort of your decision behind returning to Auburn for your junior year, and, and how seriously did you consider uh, maybe playing somewhere else this year? Well, um, I came. Auburn for my freshman year when I came to Auburn in 2020, you know, I just felt like this school is different, you know what I'm saying? And coming after my sophomore season, it's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I want to change and I want to do the things I need to do for Auburn, you know what I'm saying? So coming into Auburn, you know what I'm saying, it was like, it was different, you know what I'm saying? It's a different program. And you have to, you have to be a different man to be in this program, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't, a lot of people don't like us, a lot of people speak bad about us. But at the end of the day, we have to come and play, and we have to be ready to play. So and that, that's why I came to Auburn, and that's why I'm here at Auburn. And I feel like we're going to do what we have to do this year and handle our business. Right side, third row. Tank, uh, Jeff Spiegel, ABC 3340 in Birmingham. Uh, there was the inquiry into the uh, program run under Brian Harson over the offseason. Um, I know the players came out and, and, and spoke in behalf of Coach. Uh, how has this maybe – made the unit stronger and more united to, to go out and, uh, and play hard for him? Well, you know what I'm saying? We, we playing hard for coach, playing hard for each other, for the team, you know what I'm saying? The situation that was going on, you know what I'm saying? We, it brought us closer and it brought us closer as a team and as a family, you know what I mean? And uh, we go out and play for each other and lay it all on the line and do everything we have to do to get a W or a win, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Left side. Hey, Tank, good morning. Uh, Jacques Doucet, WAFB TV in Baton Rouge. TJ Finley, uh, we've covered him, high school, LSU, and now with you guys. Um, you mentioned Zach, but certainly I'm sure TJ is going to do his best to win that starting job as well. What have you seen out of him in the last year or so? Uh, TJ, he's a competitor, smart, you know, intelligent guy. And uh, he has what it takes to, you know what I'm saying? It's going it to come down to whoever wanted the most. And there's just, there's just going to be like on the weekends, Saturdays, it's going to come down to what team won the most, and that's who's going to win. Right side, third row. Good morning, Tank. Jack Patterson, WRBL in Columbus. So you're a part of another long line of Division One talent that's come from the Chattahoochee Valley. What does it mean to you to be a part of that legacy? Well, it's, it's great, you know what I'm saying? It's also a blessing. You know, I have to thank God, you know what I'm saying, for putting me in this – Position, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's awesome opportunity, you know what I mean? And you know, uh, not too many people get an opportunity to do that, uh, do the, do these things. So you know, it it, it means a lot to me, and uh, I do everything I can do to keep getting better. Left side, back row. Tank, could you could you tell us a little bit about your relationship with Cadillac Williams and how he's improved you as a player and and as a person? 
Coach Cadillac, he's a great man. He's a good coach. You know, um, he does everything he's supposed to do. He does things right. He preached to me about the little things. You know what I'm saying? Because when I got to college, you know, as a high school, you don't come in and think about little things. So I came in and just, you know, by little things, I mean footwork, you know, tracks, things like that. Worrying about the things that matter, you know, he hit on that. And I think you, I think that would make him the best, like, at what he's doing because he worry about the little things and the big things handle itself. Front row here on the right. Um, you just mentioned Calat Williams. Um, what other running backs or mentors do you have that you listen to and model your game after as a running back? Well, I look at a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? I look at Alvin Kamara, Todd. I look at Nick Chubb. You know, I look at a lot of guys. Dalvin Cook. I look at him a lot. You know what I'm saying? I like his running style, catching out the backfield, the way they use him. You know what I'm saying? I like I like how they do that. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I really don't speak with guys. You know, but I I look at it and watch their film a lot. Left side, third row. Tank. Uh Last season, Jarquez got off to a really, really good start. Mm -hmm. Kind of tailed off in the, the end of the season. What have you seen from him this offseason, kind of taking that step forward and being a guy that may be more consistent for you this year? Uh, Jarquez Hunter, he's a great guy, great running back. And uh, offseason, this offseason, like, we all been working. He's been working hard, doing what he's supposed to do, carrying himself the way he's supposed to be, carrying himself and uh, putting the work in. And that's all that matters. If you put the work in, the job going to be easy. On the aisle, fourth row. Right here. Tank, uh, Reggie Chapman, 11 Live TV here in Atlanta. Um, excuse me if this was asked already, but just being able to come back to the state of Georgia, place where you're obviously from, I mean, the moment that you were asked to come back here, how cool is it to kind of been back in the state and um, to be able to represent your state as well to, uh, over at Auburn? Well, it's, it's, it's a good, you know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity of a lifetime, you know, to come and do this and uh, just be able to represent my team, you know what I'm saying? That, that let me let them know I got their back, you know what I mean? And uh, it means a lot, you know what I'm saying? That's that's all I got. It means a lot. Two questions. Left side, back row. Tank, what, uh, what do you expect to be different about the running game in 2022? Mike Bobo moved on after last season. This year it'll be a mixture of Eric Keesaw and, and Brian Harson uh, running the offense. Uh, how, how could that impact uh, the running game? Uh, I feel like we're going to run it more. You know what I mean? I feel like we're going to run the ball. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's, you know what I mean? That's what Auburn known for, running the ball. Running backs, uh, great running backs. And uh, I feel like that's what we're going to do. You know what I mean? Final question here on the aisle. Tank, last season, and obviously since you've been at Auburn, you know, you had a starting quarterback who came in with experience. So you really weren't, you know, you didn't have a feeling out period this year. How much responsibility do you yourself feel maybe at the beginning of the season? You know, still working things out at quarterback, still kind of ironing that out and getting a guy comfortable. How much, how, how, Confident are you that you're going to be able to sort of shoulder that load early in the season while they might be working on other things with the quarterback? Well, I feel like we'll have everything situated and I feel like we'll have everything handled. But um, me, you know, confidence wise, is there. You know what I mean? I do, I have to do what I have to do for my team and I have to go out there and lay it on the line. You know what I mean? So uh, I feel like it's there. The confidence, you know, the confidence piece is always there. You know, just it's all about worrying about getting the job done and uh, what it takes to get the job done. You know what I mean? And, uh, coming together, playing with the team, that's, what gonna, well, that's, what, that's what's going to take the win. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like when the team come together and play together, that's when we had our best and that's what we've been doing. Tank, thank you very much. Good yes, job. Medical Properties Trust, at the very heart of healthcare.